Welcome back to a new episode about how you could echo out something in PHP. Well, there are two basic ways to get output, and that's with an echo and print. And in this video, I want to focus on echoing out. And in the next episode, I will be showing you what the print function actually is. The way you echo something out is by simply writing down echo, followed by a set of double quotes or single quotes, and in order to end the echo statement, we need to put a semicolon at the end. Whatever we want to put on the screen needs to be in between our double quotes. So let's say hello world. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the output is hello world. So let's test it out with single quotes. Let's create a new echo with single quotes and end it with a semicolon. And let's write down hello world. Save it, refresh the browser, and the output is exactly the same. Of course, there are advantages and disadvantages of using echo compared to a print. But a huge advantage is that it can output more than one string. And what I mean by that is that we can pass in multiple strings in the echo statement instead of one long sentence. The only thing we need to do is to separate it with a comma. So let's say that we want to separate hello from world. The way you do that is, well, to create a first echo statement, hit a comma, well, I need to add a double quote right here, and world. So if I save it, refresh the browser, well, I need to add an extra space because world will be printed right after hello. So if I add a space after hello or in front of world, it really doesn't matter, save it, refresh the browser, you can see that hello space world that's printed out. Another advantage is that a echo is slightly faster than the print method, but in most cases it really doesn't matter. Right now I want to do something that we haven't talked about but we will do in a couple episodes is to create a variable and it really doesn't matter if you don't know what it means right now because we will discuss it in a bit. So I create a variable called name and set it equal to my name. So what an advantage is of using double quotes is that you can pass the variable right inside of the double quotes. So let me replace hello world with my name is variable name. Let's save it. Refresh the browser. Let me remove the second echo. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that the variable called name with the value of Dari is printed out right inside of my echo. And we can put curly brackets around it. And that's what I actually prefer so you know that, all right, this is a variable. So let's save it, refresh it, and the output is still the same. But if I copy paste it and I replace the double quotes with single quotes, let's save it refresh the browser, you can see that the output is, well, whatever we put right inside of the echo. And that's the biggest difference. The single quotes just prints it out right as an echo, and it doesn't care about variables, but the double quotes will actually detect that variable name inside my double quotes is actually a variable. So let's replace it with the value Dari. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.